and gentlemen, I'm so glad. Today, uh, the members of the Science and Security today. Board move the hands of the doomsday clock forward. Do you think the there is life on other planets? No, I'm uh, German. It is now 90 seconds to midnight. You know, this is like an Orwellian wet dream, man. What's your What's your If any terrorism comes, it's from this government. And if there was an outside threat like a Bin Laden, who was a known CIA asset in the 80s, running the Mujahideen War... Where the fuck you at? The Shit. Nut up. This is the board of Iranian satellites. Hey, you're fucked up. He's the boogeyman they need. In this Orwellian phony system. I'm gonna push me back and up. Real talk. Welcome to war mode. Get ready! Woo! <laughs> The humiliation doesn't really hurt, and the, the nothing hurts anymore. So what exactly is Pizzagate? I've got to warn you. Nobody died. It was an exercise, a whole community exercise. Gotcha. These are pedophiles, folks. We're fighting pedophiles. Okay, you gotta give us a shot. You know what? You gotta give us a the shot. The best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Where, wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. Where's the mask? Do you read English? Do you read English? Would we, you, we would, be, would we, the all of our allies, would be united? Or divided. You see, you don't know I'm English. I'm from Hong Kong. I know English. Come in the name of peace. Yeah? Come on. You're Show me. Show me who you are. Ah, shut the hell up, you fucking bag. You're scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Sir, you know where I stand on the whole fucking situation. But that's, but that's the better than that. How do you know that? Terry, listen, I'm telling you, our ass is in the jackpot now. Okay? Okay, that's what I'm just telling you. Nanotechnology to genetic selection, even brain implants. I feel I'm a naked, my nigga. It wasn't a lie. It was I was my imagination. And in my imagination, in my mind, I believed it. Nut up or get fucked up. That's what's up today. So from my side it's Shining off, ciao, bye bye, goodbye, my dear friends. Yeah, that was all time perfect, maybe. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I could just do that. That was, that was like, <laughs> borderline could replace a weekly fucking, um, <laughs> intro that i had a lot of fun making it <laughs> that was insane after after hearing that in the house last week i was like dude this is gonna be great <laughs> clot brought us the thunder yeah the, <laughs> that i don't know he he does play that like hypnotist shit but he must be doing this because like now he's on hotep and all this stuff and, like all these people are like this is the conversation we need to have like this dude might just be figuring out a new way to get more listeners because he's fucking I mean, he's on, no one's talking about the fact that he ate a dick on vaccines the new york times is on uh canceled him something like that the new york times canceled there's the well the newspapers canceled dilbert oh really yeah dilbert's still going it's syndicated so that's like seinfeld oh shit yeah that dude's still getting paid every week for comics I had no clue that shit was. Still I'm going pretty on. sure he gets still gets paid. Yeah. Yeah. I mean this this dude might just be hitting him with a master stroke right now. When I watch that, I, I mean I doubt it, dude. He sound like he's an idiot, man. He is, but dude, no one's like he. I was, never paid attention to him until that. What was the one before this? When he was denying, he got like before this little controversy a couple weeks ago. Cognitive dissonance. Remember when I hit you with the fucking boomer clip? Yeah. Yeah. What was that all about? That was all about the vax stuff. Yeah, he. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. dude, people were like, people were roasting. Him. He was in the garbage, <laughs> getting roasted completely, and like, dude, zero to hero. The thing that's fucked up is like, this guy's in the comments, fucking reading them, and now he's over at Hotep. Every comment there is like, dude, this is what we need. This is what I'm talking about. This guy gets it. This is these are the good conversations we need to have. When in reality, it's just all common sense shit going back and forth. Like, it, it's <laughs> the, it. I can't deal with Hotep, man. Yeah, I mean, I I got stuff. I sent that to you. I got maybe five minutes into it, and there was literally just like a jerk sash between the both of them. Yeah, I don't know if there's any overall like grand plan here. I think he's just kind of retarded. 
Yeah, dude. Because <laughs> he doesn't remember that one clip I sent you where he was like trying to figure out his printer. He's yeah, like, I'm gonna smash HP laser jet. He's like, I'm gonna smash this in front of all you. It's not even worth my time. Dude, I'll just pay for red tube. It's that, like, dude, what? No one's ready for this. <laughs> what do you mean? All our grandparents that we have, they died quietly. They were just sitting there. <laughs> watch, they were just sitting there watching TV. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Let six of these motherfuckers figure out live streaming. <laughs> the shit that will be said. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. dude. It's going to be fucking insane. If they can't, like, they're going to have to catch on. Like, there's going to be a good amount of boomers who are already on, like, they're, like, Fox News is kind of getting off. And, like, all this shit's on the internet. And they're on there. And, like, dude, I know, like, like my uncle's buddies in fucking, like, in Delaware County, like, they're all, like, they're, if someone dies and, like, it's on a newspaper online thing and there's a comment section, It'll be like they're in the comments. Oh fuck him anyway, and it's like <laughs> nonsense. Dude, like, dude, chill, chill. dude they'll, oh. they'll talk shit on people. All this. I mean, these dudes were the prank callers. Yes, like, they, they are. They're these are the jerky boys. You're talking. They're not really boomers, man. They're the Gen Xers. A little bit yeah, of yeah, a yeah, little yeah. bit of both, but these guys are gonna. Like, I know. I know the age group you're talking about. They're gonna wreak havoc on this shit. Especially once they start figuring out, it's just a slippery slope because they cannot handle getting prank called. It is weird when you start thinking about how much changes during your lifetime. Like in that Atomic Cafe thing I was talking about, um, there was dudes that lived through, I think, like Eisenhower gave a speech where he's like, they went from musket balls to the atom bomb in one, li in one lifetime. Yeah. So there was dudes that were alive for the Civil War that saw the atomic bomb. Yeah. So... You know, tech wise, it's pretty much the same deal. There's people that like those boomers started out with like there weren't reruns, yeah, black and white TVs to this. Yeah, well, that's what my to, like live streaming on your phone. I was talking, <laughs> my, I was talking to my one uncle and like my great my mom's like uncle or whatever is retired and they gave him HBO Max and he's calling my aunt every fucking week <laughs> like. Dude, they have every movie on this. And he's writing all the movies down and sending yeah, it to like, you I have mean, to watch these movies. I boomed out when when the, when I got my hands on the internet when I was about 26. And I was like, wait, all the movies are on here? And then I tried to burn them all on DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> and then like out of nowhere, Netflix like put them on streaming. Yeah. I mean, that, that is a very smart move because everything was for free on the internet. All movies all fucking music, everything. You just had downloaded to iTunes. It's also not a weird thing. It's also a good thing to try to be stuck in the past a little bit because what they're doing with the Raw Doll books with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory right now, they're changing the books. What do you mean? Like, they're changing the words in the books because they're offensive. So, like, you, if you real? have an old copy... They like, hit Huck Finn yet? <laughs> I think that's, like, long gone. <laughs> but, you know, um, I think it's Puffin is the... Uh, Puffin's the publisher... But Puffin's no, goat publisher. I know, yeah. <laughs> um, you know Charlie and Child Factory with the fat kid. Yeah. They took out fat, the word fat, and changed it to enormous. Really? Yeah. They don't use the words black and white anymore in the other books in Matilda and the BFG. What are they called? They say like they just changed it all. They change all these words to like tiptoe around certain problem things. That was that's bizarre. Yeah. I, so if you record the stuff now, they could change it, especially with like the Technology with the deep fakes and shit, they could change like a lot of your movies. So you could have an old cut if you recorded it somehow and burned it, dude. Yeah, for a while I had I had a fuckload of music on my um on my iTunes, and it wasn't like we I had like Tom's all of his music, but then dude, like when I was growing up, like there was all sorts of mixtapes. Everything was on these like SoundCloud websites where like someone would release a new song. And you can just rip it immediately, YouTube to MP3, all that shit. I went through my, like, and I, dude, never read terms of service, so Lord knows what I'm consenting to. I would go through and shit was just not there. It was just deleted off, like, all my ripped from YouTube to MP3s, everything's gone. How, well, I don't understand what you're talking I about. I think iTunes took them off. Oh, okay, wow. Because, dude, I, like, I was not, I was not fucking around on iTunes. I was, I'd held the key. <laughs> I would call, like, my dad, every Sunday, my dad be like, dude, can you fix this shit on my iTunes? There'd be duplicates. I was a master I remember of all this. Yeah, I remember all this, yeah. Absolute. My dad had a laptop just to have iTunes on it. It was yep. fucking insane. And he had all the music. He was fucking amped. But whatever, like, they did something where they started, like, they started taking your music away. But, like, dude, the... All that shit was fucked. Music, everything. It was all fucking free. 
And then Spotify came around. Now everyone's paying for fucking music again. Yeah. And iTunes. Like, iTunes, I can't even buy songs right now, which is just pissing me the fuck off. They're they're up in the prices, too, of all this stuff. I mean... They're, they've they've painted me into a corner. I took <laughs> I took I took all cables out of my life. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I, I, I crave premium content. <laughs> I don't anymore. I feel like it's done for now. What? I can't get into anything. Uh, there is not you know one I mean? show like they, I'm watching currently. If you think about it, they went to streaming. They might have pulled out all their big guns for the first for a couple of shows. Yeah, they they're true did. They're fried. They, they're that, coming up. They're they're coming up with nothing right now. I everyone keeps hyping up that like part of us or whatever the can't fuck can't get into it at all. Haven't watched it at all. They haven't even watched it, an dude. episode. I watched a couple episodes. Fed was pushing it, and I was just like, "Yo, I'm not into this." And that's rare. I could watch almost anything. Yeah, they do. They just put gay shit and all the stuff. So I've I've just chilled the fuck out. I watched, I'm not even talking out of some weird like stuff. I'm like, there's this sucks. It, yeah, there's no. Sucks. I have no interest in it. I, I'm also fried. I might just read books. True. If you, I, I'm about to. I'm, I'm done with fucking. I I have so many books I want to read that it outweighs the fucking shit I want to watch. Except for Jonah from Takalua, and I'm gonna watch. Uh, <laughs> Did you buy uh, it? Yeah, and I'm gonna watch uh, Kingpin. <laughs> Kingpin's fucking nice. And I was thinking about Kingpin because of uh, <laughs> uh, I was trying to make an intro with something in the air. But then also, I love your theory. So I'm reading this book where they're talking about the five different conspiracy theories that Americans have struggled with since the founding of America. And it's like that. I gotta. I'd have to like fucking open the book to see it. But it's like enemy. Uh, the enemy outside. The enemy within. The enemy above. Yeah. The benevolent enemy. That's like a white hat. Right. Or that the benevolent like savior. That's yeah, like a white yeah. hat. And then there's the enemy from below, which is a rare. So like this is the conspiracy theories that the elites have, that like the low will rise. So they're constantly in fear of this. Oh, okay. And one of the best pictures this year was about Mennonites in South America. I was like, bro, these motherfuckers are everywhere. Oh, yeah. They're I'm, fucking ch- They're like Vikings, dude. I'm into your theory that the Amish are lying. They're, they don't take the, the census. <laughs> dude, okay. They don't Thank take you the census. Much. They are against. T through the roof, dude. T through the roof. Against everything. Yep. They will. Everyone hates them for no reason. Coming at them for their food. Looks. All this stuff. Do the they bo- don't age. They're like Woody Harrelson. They don't age. Yeah. But in Kingpin, he chills with Amish. Yes. Great movie. You should see it eventually. I'll watch it tonight. Yeah, it's yeah, funny, yeah. man. Dude, that like, they're fucking, like, people don't understand. Yeah. These motherfuckers are everywhere. And they're sneaky, dude. And girls are paying all this money to get Botox and fillers and look young. Like, these guys look the same fucking age until, like, five years before they die. Yep. Monstrous hands, <laughs> beast yeah. at building shit. Like yep. they live the life I want to live, where it's like I just want to chill out, be able to build shit. No and one fuck with me. So think about how many times they've bucked the system. They had, they've been chilling since like the late the mid eighteen hundreds. Yep, they've seen a bunch of these like new world orders come and go. Yeah, rocking and rolling and button downs. So I mean, imagine seeing they're trends. a they're a legitimate threat. And Imagine seeing trends when yeah. you just got the suspenders and like every 150 suspenders and top hats are back in. You're just like, all right, let's go. Yeah. I would love to sit them down and show them one of them Tartaria things. Be like, do you guys remember this stuff? You guys have legends about this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like they are being fucked with. Like they have farmers markets. There's videos of people from the U S government going in there and motherfucking them. Is that the enemy from below, bro? You can't sell raw milk cause it's unhealthy. Breath. <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna tell me that when you give everyone the fucking shot? Yeah, man. It makes their mother. They're like breaking into fucking Amish and fucking with them over raw butter and raw milk. Something you and the Amish guy say you have that. Yes, you know what it can do to you if it's not stored properly. You're gonna get sick. It's no different but than going out to eat at a shitty restaurant. I thought growing up, I was like, oh, that's Amish. Fucking Lancaster, Amish. Yeah. And then I heard, like, oh, man, Ohio, they got some. Tom then, Tom has a story about Amish down in fucking, like, Belize or some and shit. And, like, upstate New York, I'm like, oh, uh, I was up there, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's like Amish people. I'm like, these motherfuckers fucking are everywhere. everywhere <laughs> Join them. Return to Monk. <laughs> yeah. I, that dude, might just be, like, when you figure everything out, you become an Amish, and then they'd start the cycle all dude, over again. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's either, I think, like, around here, it's Amish, yeah. and then you know the people who sit in Tibet, the Tibetan monks that just look oh, yeah. to the horizon for their whole lives? Yep, yep. It's those, those are the two powers. 
and there's something over top of them. I don't know what it is, but like when I tell, like when I went to this place where I got my ladder rack and I saw like the spreads these motherfuckers have, and I I'm sitting here fucking scrounging over a row home. Yeah, I'm a fool. I say, I cannot live like, like I wish I was raised Amish, but I'm not. I'm gonna have to some get somewhat close to that sort of lifestyle. And a lot of conspiracies about them too, like they're stealing people. Stealing? How goofy you know? is that? Dude? <laughs> they're stealing people. They're all over the world. Like, oh no, they're like because of interbreeding. And I, dude, <laughs> hand up. Yeah, I fucking talked shit on them before. I'm jealous. I mean, I I'm not counting How it out. I, I'm not I believe that they like would, they're way sweeter than me. I believe that they would steal people. I'm not counting that out. I believe anyone know? would steal people. But at the same time, I'm they're a lot stealing of, for good. At least I'm having a lot of fun with this one. Well, dude, it's, it's a like, co- it's a cozy one. So now that I'm getting into all these, like they started out with the, the Native Americans was the same deal. Like when the first pilgrims came here, yeah, they came up with like crazy conspiracy theories about the Native Americans because they didn't. Understand what the fuck was going on. They had were an, clothes, They have an entire thing that's called King Philip's War. The dude wasn't even a king. He was just a random Indian dude. They were just like that guy. Yeah, and they named the war like, oh, dude, this is King Philip's War, and the whole thing was like misconstrued in a conspiracy theory. Then they had conspiracies against the Catholics. Like it's crazy, like because like Maryland was like a state run by Catholics for real. So then, but it does rule. But the Catholics were a minority. So then they were the Protestants. We've always been perse- persecuted people. Then the, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to show up for the Irish, dude. I, yeah. I didn't like the interrogation, but like, um, yeah, they thought that the Catholics were trying to kill all the Protestants. So then they outlawed Catholicism. Dude, it, it only came back after uh, they became America. Our alma mater, fucking St. Thomas. They used to have have to have secret fucking church, dude. Yeah, secret church. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, the that whole. That whole war, I never knew shit about. But this book, this book intrigues me. I, I saw yesterday when I was picking on my laptop. I saw I was like, that looks good. It's got all like the memento type writing on the yeah. fucking front. I just like it because it, it kind of. It, I mean, the basic gist of it is, we've always been like this, the suspicious thinking, and how can you not, dude? <laughs> and it's better now than it's ever been. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's been like in recorded history. Yeah, in recorded history. Yeah. Yeah, that like. Because we have all the information. You can just look it up. Like, yeah. all right, good. Something to quiet, quiet it down a little bit. Yes. There's yeah. there's sometimes where I'll be like, I was, I forget what was happening, but I was watching the Eric Weinstein stuff, mm. and Rogan started can't, talking about- We can't talk about that. No, Rogan was talking <laughs> about like how big space was, and like my mind starts going there, and it's just like a, go yeah. away. Don't, don't fucking do that. Just fucking yeah. focus on the task at hand. <laughs> like, there, no shit we've been- obsessed with this stuff constantly because the people who rule us are constantly trying to bring us the fuck down that eyes of the devil thing was the most insane shit i've ever watched in my fucking yeah life. i watched that a while ago but yeah did you rip the whole thing a while i mean i can't remember it yeah it's, it's yeah i know that they're like trading babies and stuff somewhat of a feel good at the end so it's All not right. like it, it leaves you with some sort of hope very fucking weird spoiler the they talk about this dude at the end who was abducted and he wound up in America. They think their their son Tomek was a, like a, taken, name. taken, brought to fucking America, and he was a decorated soldier. Got like a thing from Obama, all this shit. And his mom's like, "Dude, you're our kid," and a dude will not take the fucking test. Oh, that's weird. Very fucking insane. But like, dude, the weirdest part about that, and like, this is what like freaks me out with like Pizzagate and all that stuff. And people are like, "It's not true." This dude straight up saying like, "Oh yeah, people fuck kids to death all the time." Oh, yeah, like man. the fact that there's a market for that is freaking me the fuck out. And they sell organs. That they said the during that thing they said the main reason like they'll never kidnap a kid and it makes complete sense. It's like, dude, why wouldn't you just buy kids from like fucked up people, which they do. They said if they if a kid gets kidnapped, huge chance a very rich person's child needs an organ and you're just your numbers up, you're out. Like, it's never a kidnap, like, put him into a brothel because there's too much heat. Some fucking rich person needs an organ, and a useless leader gets fucking canceled for it. Yeah, I mean, I remember a while ago, and I don't know if it was, like, misinformation or, like, some <laughs> some kind of, like, shit, like, against the Chinese, but I know that they were... They, they were, were harvesting pe- Uyghurs. There were people getting skin transplants where the doctors were phased. They're going, like, this is impossible. Yeah. That was the Uyghurs. Yeah. Well, I don't even know. Yeah, but whatever it was, it was like they were finding donors 
Immediate. And then and then flying them over, and that means they were skinned on the plane because the 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 yep. skin had never been frozen. Well, that's what they said. I don't. That could be completely made up, though. Dude, it makes some. That's up sense. there with some fucking. That's like up there with some weird showers and stuff. Well, you know? dude, they were set, like in this thing. This guy was like, yeah, like they have it down to like it's like a well-oiled machine where it's like this dude's coming and he's horny enough to fuck a kid to death. There's a sterile room right next to that room where they take all the organs and sell. Yeah, it's the worst fucking thing I've ever watched in my life. But it is crazy to watch these people just like, yeah, all day long they traffic kids, and the main suspects of the people who do it are Arab. Oh, which is I believe that, up and because it's legal for Arabic countries to do it. So like these dudes just fucking are like, yeah, like yeah, I the, run a brothel. There is a dark mindset in the world, man. Yeah, it was. there's people that grow up with a whole other set of like, what's what, where you're just a bag of meat. Lit like yeah. like that's what I'm saying like for this like like watching those moms be like why would I give it a name? <laughs> Shoot, that yeah. was really fucked yeah, up. It's fucked up, man. Marcelina was the name. The dude <laughs> saved the kid, which is kind yeah, of fucking yeah. goat. But that's like that goes right to that thing where it's like I see that and I know that's happening for a fact. The number of kids that get abducted makes zero fucking sense. Well, I think the cartels do this shit. Do you see the thing with uh, the border? No, the, it was on Forbes. Like the uh, here, here, pause real quick. Yeah, I just think that's not, I think it's nuts. Yeah, well, they're doing they're they're doing some kind of thing against the cartels right now because they're those are just for show those like trials and stuff with the sheriffs. Yeah, that that's fucking nothing. It, like if they are like if we're seriously against China, and they need something, dude, they gotta make that livable. Like th- like you have to be able to go down there and like like conduct business. And like they've been, <laughs> they've been making all the black money. Well, they're getting it ready for you, man. Go back to that. Go back I to saw that the thing. Fucking damn picture, dude. You no, know. it's not the picture. I just want to show you the square uh, feet so I get it right. It's a thousand square feet that a yeah. hundred guys live in. Dude. So you know what a thousand square feet is? Yeah, it's half of my house. It's a hundred people live in that. In a thousand square feet. There's only for like every hundred people, there's only eighty beds. So Jeez. there's a bunch of dudes that don't have beds. Dude, but this is what they're doing now. And Forty thousand fucking people. Look at that, dude. This is the new kind of prison. That's going to be fucking nuts. It reminds me of like all these sci-fi type things. Like it's real Russian. You 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 think it's Russian? Remember the documentary with the Russian prisons where they all have to have their hands behind their head looking at the floor walking through? Yeah, right. They got those sick ass fucking dogs hunting them down. Yeah, this is not the Panopticon, dude. This is these motherfuckers are. They're fucked. That's deep. A hundred people in a thousand square feet is a lot. That's half of my house with a hundred. Hundred people. people in it. That's what do they just have a square? Can they sit down? I don't know. Dude, I mean, they're, they're probably gonna, gonna die. Fuck them up. They're gonna die off. But like, there's dude, no way to live this, survive this. If you, this is just what I'm thinking, if you have this many people, at yeah. first you have the super bad fucking prisons, and it's like real hard to work around. If you lose all that cheap ass labor from China, and you have all, like, dude, you made all these people fucking prisoners, and they look bad. They have tattoos all over them. If they start fucking making t-shirts. I mean, we created El Salvador. Literally. Yeah. (laughs) If if they start making fucking t-shirts and making all your goods, like, dude, there's there's no, like, you can just be like, oh, no, America is not tough on crime anymore. Legalize pot, legalize weed, all this shit. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, these are crazy flexes on on the cartels right now. That's fucked up. Because there's no way these guys are doing it without the backing of. It's so much money. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, like, for people to want to do this in El Salvador rather than sell drugs. There's either a coup coming or this is the future. Yeah, and unfortunately, this is sometimes what a three-letter agency does to my <laughs> fucking friends in South America. When I'm just trying to visit there and be cool yeah. with everyone. They're it's just doing- like a replay of the Iran Contra stuff where it's like, oh, there's drugs coming in. Yep. And it's El Salvador's involved. And it's, it's crazy. It sucks, man. Central America just keeps getting fucking... They they keep getting bodied. And they like, dude, they got these people so tricked they're covering themselves like that with tattoos. Yeah. Like, step one, if you want to do bad shit, just fit in with everyone else. Like, there's no re like, don't put face tattoos on yourself if you're going <laughs> to fucking start killing people and selling drugs. Yeah. It is bizarre, though, because, like, the legalization of everything has to be coming down the line if they're locking all these fucking people up. Because these dudes are just useless at that point. It seems like they're doing something with the border. That's going to be fucking crazy. Like, you think Trump's going to do something? Dude, they, that was, it was weird that they went against Trump on that. Because that was like Clinton was pushing for that in the 90s. 
Yeah. Clinton, well, the Clintons doing speeches. And it's really fucked up. Like what people get super hurt and raped there. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. all the border is like very messed up and it should be very secure and you should at least try to save the people who are getting traffic through like fucking with coyotes and like the rape trees and all that shit going on at CMEX, which for later on I have Oh, are you gonna do that? All right, wow. Well a bunch of oil refineries caught on fire. One in America, two in fucking in Mexico, and they're Pemex. It's petroleum Mexico. So it's close. It's just the names line up. It's <laughs> very, it's very, it's like all, along the same lines, of like the train derailments and stuff, like mega fires in fucking Mexico. I'm still fucking jammed about the trains. What do you mean? That's a big deal. I mean, dude, it's. Yeah, you know, I don't know. What, I don't know what's happening in the world. Like, I don't watch the news or anything, but like, that's a problem. You go downstream. Like You're, of, the, of well, that stuff, that's it's, not good. It's the reason it terrifies me is because like that's a that water that supplies so many fucking people with water, and then on the flip side, you got people like Gil Bates running around buying up all the waterways, like all this huge amounts of land, and in that huge land, it's not just farm. He has water fucking rights where they can just fucking take in as much water as you want. There's so like, dude. Water is fucking crazy. Like, if you have land and, like, if you ever watch Gold Rush, it's a great show in Alaska. If you start fucking up the waterways and, like, water runoffs and stuff, you get in so much fucking trouble. But there's certain places. That's you, how a lot of those guys down in that area made their money. Dude, it's and like fucking, you, what's that movie with Jack Nicholson? There's Chinatown. Chinatown, there's yeah. a There's a <laughs> book. There's a book I read a while ago, Dark Money, and the chick's like a super. This was back when... The left people, like the Naomi Kleins and, yeah. and the, I can't remember her name, Jane Meyer or something like that. Jane Meyer she, sounds right. She wrote this book, Dark Money, and it's all about like how they would just let people dump shit, and that's how those politicians would get paid. Just bodying oh, yeah. the land. Dude, the, like supposedly yeah. back in the day from like stories I've heard from people in trash, like used to go to places in New Jersey and just dump, and it would light on fire. Like yeah. while you dumped it, it would ignite <laughs> on fire. Yeah, and that's like, just. Right. Yep. That's just buried somewhere. Yep. And like you, you go to Jersey and dig, there's this shit called like moral. It's like they are, I don't know how the fuck to say it, but it's like green soil that's unused. It's just shit. And everyone's <laughs> like, oh, I don't know how that happened. It's like, dude, probably because you guys just dump trash like psychos here constantly. Yeah, yeah. It was, it is fucking weird. What the fuck were we talking about before that? Well, I liked what you were talking about. I don't know. I get derailed by the oh, trains water. all the time because <laughs> no pun intended. you're trying to tell me that like. Comedian. The Bill Gates like next is... level. You have to be careful with sorry, jokes like the that because you're <laughs> sorry, next sorry, level. Sorry, sorry, like, Some people don't understand. The farmland, like, if you're going to start hitting the fucking heartland of America, bro, we it, got problems. It's weird for that to happen. And, like, dude, it, like, I, I got to look more into, like, the water rights and stuff. But, like, Nestle is a perfect example. Like, they just have all these crazy water rights bottle it up and sell it to you. And, like, dude, the fact that we pay for water is fuck. Like, the fact that we send my water bills dick the fact that we send billions of fucking dollars to ukraine but i still have to pay a water bill I'm makes kidding. no fucking sense good point dude good point no dude yeah, water water's cheap Calm as fuck falls from the sky fucking hate liberals the um <laughs> yeah but dude it, it is crazy like he may be fucking with food and shit like that gill but i will never say his name he right might, the yeah dude there might be some weird like it's water rights i don't know did you watch some of the um Newer World Economic Forum stuff? No. Oh, can you pause it real yeah, quick? Yeah, There's I, more? I'm sorry to do this. No, you good. To you. <laughs> the, the, everything literally just seems like it's leading back to old times in that video. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the fucking trucks. The, tr the trucks and the menstrual leave. The trucks? Because if, if, if uh, Gil bought up all that, if he's got all the water rights, yeah. and then they're just going to take the heartland and they're going to have automated- Poop all of it. Automated trucks just driving around. Yeah, what I don't understand is like those to deliver truck, his food. Those trucks are saying are simply for freight. And it's like yeah. it, it knows where it's going. It's a fucking path. There's no other way you can get there. It's like a train. Make it a train. You don't need to make a fucking automatic well, vehicle. They don't. They can't use the trains because they derail. Fix it. <laughs> they haven't been derailing forever. <laughs> They've been chilling. And they're like, oh, no, we're going to make a sell. It's like so much fucking money or just get heavy ass hunks of steel, slap them down on the flat ground, 
and bring you're it saying to your destination. Laying, you're saying laying tracks not that hard. I'm just saying, dude, the Irish did it. The <laughs> Irish and the fucking <laughs> Chinese did it together as brothers. Chinaman. Yeah, like, dude, that is, like, I guess, like, you could. You could make a driving car where you're not sitting in it, but at the same time, dude. Dude, you could just sit at home. How do you become one with your beast? You're going to be. How's there any love with that shit? No, people will, in their own way, they'll get to know the animal, and they'll take it across the country, and they only really need them for parking it. Well, dude, that's like. There's a loading dock stuff, and the rest of it. Dudes are streaming that. What do you mean? It's a big streaming thing where, like, dudes have Uh simulations of tractor trailers, and they're streaming drives, like, crazy maneuvers and stuff like that. So, like, this could just go to all the fucking great streamers and the. Dudes but they're just trucks. saying simulation, not real, not the real guys, not the real tight boys. We I mean, do that's how I learned to drive airplanes. It's gonna suck, but dude, hey, look, it hurts. I yeah, know yeah. you're getting and phased out, dude. It's you're basically what, a video game. You're what we call the levers. I'm one of the levers, but like, it it doesn't make sense. Like, if the other thing is this battery shit is fucking poopy. <laughs> Like, dude, there was a there was they a love pla- the batteries. There was a place uh, up like north of here who were like I, I've talked about it before. They want to implement a battery operated like the trash truck that comes to your house and picks it up. Sure, like the compact. Like, yeah, it could only go like six miles, and then it had to recharge. It's fucked, dude. That's so much. That's so many little kids dying and fucking wherever. Well, those things are going across the country. I don't know if they are. They might be gas. They said I saw eighty eight percent battery. Oh, okay, battery. All right. I mean, they're easy. hybrids. I don't yeah. understand why this shit just can't have a solar power panel on it and power it. I don't know. Yeah, like it's kind of fucking crazy that you couldn't like, especially on the phone, like the Tesla phone that was supposed to have a. We're going to space, dude. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, dude, I don't want to be called dumb ever again. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I know. Straight I know, up, I know, I know. like it really pisses me off. That, like, I sit here and I tell you I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, and, like, I know. I'm yeah, not yeah. trying to fucking harp on Eric Weinstein, but he was just on Rogan and that shit. Your boy, your favorite, your there, favorite. I don't think there's anyone I hate more in the world. The dude is a fucking crybaby. Like, makes there's nothing wrong in that dude's life, and he's like, oh no, we're actually about to be extinct. Because I know I can go to space. Like, dude, you're a <laughs> fucking liar. This is like, it's like, dude, this mm. is like no different than fucking. I don't know. That Kalergi thing fucking kills me, but whatever. Yeah. So, like, this is on. no different than going back in time and them just being like, you know what? We built that pyramid. It's like, I the know. fuck you the built fuck that you did, pyramid, dude. You fucking the fuck you liar. did. liar. But yeah, he makes zero sense with that shit. But that's like the fact that he's saying, oh, I, like I have the fucking information to get to space. It's like, yeah, dude, you're a fucking, you are a liar. Like, you think, <laughs> you like, we haven't even, shout out AJ Brown, we haven't even got to the fucking moon. Complete lie. And you're going to tell me you can get past those Van Allen belts? Just don't get on one of those ships. Hey, man, maybe next time you go on Rogan, lay off the booze. <laughs> don't you're, fucking yeah. slow your words and have your eyes go off. Your one crazy. eye's fucking swimming. That was fucking, like, the fact that dude's like, and they just get, like, some weird cred on the internet. The same shit you were saying where, like, Barry Weiss is fucking... All right, ju- enough, enough. I just... Hey, man, there's something going on behind... There's something saying, about these guys, dude. The internet juices them up. Like, yeah. Brian Callen juices, like, oh, I had dinner with Eric Weinstein. It's like, right. dude, I know a million Eric Weinsteins. They're liars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. God enough, damn it. Enough, enough. Right. I, I said Tiger, that's not for the podcast. Tiger, you said it. Tiger got out of yeah. the cage. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, the, the truck shit... <laughs> Hopefully it fucking happens, but like it seems like there's a lot of fucking Eric Wine scenes that are pretending like this text way past where it is. That uh, yeah, I just like you know the World Economic Forum keeps chucking these things up. It it would the be, only thing that made sense in that video is giving girls a week off a month, dude. That's it. Pay them for five days to stay the fuck out of the office. That's bullshit. <laughs> Chicks, dude, they're overhyping like no liars. Chicks get hurt, freaking cry. Imagine getting hurt and crying, dude. I saw you pop your patella tendon and you didn't even cry. Yeah. And you're like, oh, try having a period. Give it to me. And you I made a weird? monstrous burrito before, dude. It's it was, nothing. It was weird when uh, <laughs> when my patella was like up there in my thigh, yeah. I still was trying to walk. Yeah. Remember when I was like you're trying to? No, but remember when I was like, <laughs> like, that's how retarded I am when I was like, yeah, we might be able to walk this thing back down to its regular spot. I mean, it's like <laughs> popping a chain and then just continuing to spin your fucking pedal. I was like, oh, no, this isn't working. I, like, dude, I just don't understand how you're going to say that to a chick. Be like, 
oh, you have a period? No, we're going to pay you the same. And we're also going to give you off for a week because you don't feel good. It's kind of like reparations. Like, dude, I feel like crap sometimes. Every now and then I'll fucking ming a crazy burrito and I'll feel like ass the next day. I still go to work, even if I have tummy pains. And like, you, you're never even hung over. I'm never hung over. Yeah. yeah. Like, imagine, like, like you have the That's same That's nothing. Pain. Tummy pains, nothing, dude. Being hung over and the devil that comes being to, really hung over is fucking wild. The devil that comes <laughs> to greet you. Yeah, I just like I like if I'm a little hungover, I'm in bed all day long. Oh, I've had hangovers where I'm like talking to God. Yeah, I'm making deals. I've done I've, <laughs> I've done that with multiple things in my life. Yeah, there's every now and then where I'm like, dude, I'll start praying again <laughs> if you make this yeah. stop. Like I'll do it every night, no fucking problem. If you just make this one thing go away, yeah, I'd like. That's it's crazy that the World Economic Forum, their videos I hate it. And I'm still mesmerized. It's the fucking music. Now there could be a world in the future with like a, a, a truck with no one in it driving through Amish. Yeah. They're just watching it again. Imagine like they're, dude, they're just chilling they with the cows. Care, they have to be careful with this shit. Every AI thing they release gets racist. And you're gonna make an AI truck? Brother. <laughs> Well, I just you're think, sending to hyperspeed. I think that the AI, like when whenever you create something, there's a little something in you in it. Yeah. So I would take a look at like whoever's designing the AI. Some of these top tech guys. Yeah, true. You know, some of these top Google guys. Edge Club. You know. Good point. Honestly, it might just be a little bit of their. Like creator. you give them, you, you, you know, if you if you create something, it's good. It's going to be part of like you, you're going to be in it. Part of you is going to be in it. Yeah, but like so that's. That video is just on the World Economic Forum YouTube. Like they're just putting that. They just out shut there. that up. Like this is what we're into. This this top stories of the week. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Spain Spain is on some mad one. Like, dude. In reality, it, it seems like we're in like a fucking vacuum where it's just bringing us right back to girls. Look, you did it. You're freaking hard workers. You can even do construction sometimes. Go back home. Just chill out. Trucks. Fuck that. It's gonna be a train. It's going to go exactly where you need it, and then you pick it up where you fucking need it. All that other stuff, like, all oh, these big... Well, if they convoy those things, that would be like a train. It would be just a on the fucking rent, train. But on the road. Why? Get it off the road. Put it on a train track. Did you see that video of the fucking train tracks that are all fucked up in Ohio? The train going through and it was, like, fucking bouncing? Yeah, yeah, you showed it to me. It, it looked like fucking the worst road you could possibly imagine. All that money going into that shit. Put it in the train tracks. Continue using trains. Make tra trains are more efficient than fucking. You want to make trains great again? They don't get they they derail sometimes, but that's because of there's no money being put into it, and there's super fucking layoffs. And train dudes are fucking hardos. I don't know if you ever met dudes <laughs> who work on railroads. They're up huge, there with the firemen. Huge hardos, dude. <laughs> like very big hardos. Yeah, I've only seen Amtrak dudes. The individuals that like get into trains are fucking next level <laughs> but yeah I mean, I mean i when i was a kid i used to uh so i used to hang out at a tire shop yes and the dude i used to chill with he was one of the top guys there and he used to build rc cars so like charge it up for eight hours yep and then rip it and these things went like 35 oh, those ones that have yeah, dude, yeah those, they can move they're right? crazy so i would wait all day for this thing to charge and he was a civil war so he he was like he did Real that, actor. and he was a Civil War guy, oh, and they dude. are the hard they yeah. are the hardest <laughs> yeah. out of everyone. So I have I inherit think about that the, how good that feels. Imagine you're freaking out all week long, end of the week you put on the knickers and you go out to the drum beat. And you're like I'm in the Civil War. Well, I I was like <laughs> I used to chill with these guys since I was like really little, and then when I when I was like nine, I had to do a project on Jeb Stewart, and I was like laughing because i was like jeb's a funny name yeah you know and he was like jeb did you talk about jeb stewart and then he's like yeah he's like come here and he had stacks of civil war times so i used to just chill and like play with fucking car stuff yeah and read stuff about the civil war times with like this dude's the ultimate hardo oh my and then like God. at the end of the day my shit would charge up and for like an hour i could rip a car 30 miles an hour with the other cars yeah i i remember back in the day there was the goat rc cars and then it was like mystical if you heard one dude where you're like, oh, it's gas powered. 
Like there'd be one oh, dude yeah, with a yeah. gas powered car. Those like, things scream. Things go that goes yeah. like forty miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. I would just look at that and be like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> you put like this much gas in it. <laughs> they haul ass, oh, yeah, dude. Dude, they're like bugs. <laughs> like, dude, we we used to go to this. Me and my cousin would like he when he lived in Upper Diary, we would go to, like this place Hillcrest, and like there was two steps. And we would just sit there all day long and pretend to ollie off them, but in reality, just lift the front of our skateboards up and the tail would hit the tube backside. Counts. But, dude, every now and then, you'd, be like, you'd hear it. You'd be like, that, that dude has a gas powered fucking yep. RC car. And, dude, they fucking ripped. Like, I could see why dudes get into that shit. Yeah, well, when I was a kid, you had to wait all day for the battery to charge. And then by the time my little brother came around, they had that one that would spin. Oh, yeah, it couldn't go over on its side. You know the one I'm talking about, I mean, all four wheel. It was like it was cool looking, man. You're talking about my Christmas list. Too. Yeah, so, that, but I mean things changed. Like I was like I I was like a boom. I was booming out on him. Like man, back in my day. Yeah, that, I mean, there was nothing. Like I remember one time for Christmas, I got a remote control T Rex, and like I wanted, I could have died. It was the best thing I've ever <laughs> got in my life. I haven't had. I haven't had joy on Christmas in so long, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Getting a fu- like the RC cars were some of the best shit ever, and they would break within days. Yeah, what was the name of that thing? What the thing that could flip over and it could kind of climb walls, and they would show it going up and down steps. Yeah. My little brother got it. Yeah, that- and I hijacked every cool thing he got. I'd be like, ah, oh, that's mine now. I remember. I think I never got one. I think my one cousin got one, and I was just always so phased that they had one. And then like all that shit kind of went away once the. Video game systems video games, yeah, right. got introduced. They had it down the basement. And it was scary as fuck because we had like Sega or Super Nintendo, one of those down the basement. And like I would never get to play. Like all my brothers and cousins would play, couldn't play shit. If they weren't around, I would go down the basement. I could fucking play. It was just on a fucking monster TV and a little wooden thing. But every now and then some sick fuck would turn the lights out on me in the basement. I would lose it. I would <laughs> fucking haul ass upstairs, just fucking losing my mind. <laughs> But on the on the um, COVID front, this is the shit I was going to show you about Woody Harrelson. Uh, I think it oh yeah, that's why we started talking about Kingpin. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, hold on now. I have it somewhere. Here he is, bro. This is. I thought this was like an old video or something. This was. This happened, I guess, on Saturday because it's all over the fucking internet. This is fucking crazy. This is like a six minute um intro at the very end. Hit him with this. Hey, right, so the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? (laughs) Okay. Damn. And then you just ended it. He just was like, all right, yeah, that's what. Uh, that, so this is like the beginning monologue. That's the, the beginning of, uh, monologue, Saturday. and like he was just talking about like. And that's a lot of views. He was just talking about that's only one fucking thing too. Yeah, he was right. talking about how he loves weed, <laughs> loves. He being does a vegan. love weed. <laughs> he loves being a vegan. His boy who does True Detective loves eating steak, and then he, it was like the it's most the yin and the yang. It was the most drawn out thing, and the very end just hit that. I was like, all right, guys, that's that's uh, we're gonna have a great show tonight later on. Just hitting with that. He man. is ageless, man. He's all time. He's one of my all time favorites, just from True Detective and Place Beyond the or was out of the furnace. Yeah, out of the furnace is great. This is another one, and dude, not a podcast that dances on graves, but it's a minute thirty clip. We try. I try to warn all my loved ones, everyone yeah. that I love about this shit, dude. Here you go. Chare um, report for the public. Um, you will see that they didn't do any fertility studies. Pages 16 to 21 are of particular interest for people to look at if they're interested. Um, They did no fertility studies and um, and they didn't even do fertility studies in animals. It wasn't, they were exempt. The studies and trials were exempt, which is most for the COVID vaccine. Um, They didn't do any studies in uh, pregnant women and yet it was pushed on pregnant women. Um, And we know from the Pfizer studies themselves that um, the, um, they said to the women in the studies, you must not get pregnant, you must use contraception, you mustn't get pregnant under any circumstances. And human nature being what it is, 25 women did get pregnant. And out of the 25 pregnancies, there were 15 miscarriages, which means that's 58% miscarriage rate for women who were 
vaccinated and became pregnant. And out of the nine babies that were born, five had congenital abnormalities. So this is a complete disaster, absolute disaster. And we've seen miscarriage and stillborn baby rates go up. Um, that was supposed to be fake news and not a true thing. Wow. Yeah. Not good, bros. <laughs> Nah, man. Yeah, I don't like that. And there was a dude. There was another dude who was doing studies where he was getting placentas sent to him, not on some weird shit. And every single one of those all have spiky boys in the placenta. And then there's fucking new cancers that are coming in, like very young people. All the cancers in the cells, spiky boys. So hey, I mean, hopefully all you social justice warriors felt I real good canceling people for misinformation. I spiky boys um don't transfer from to children though. It's in the placenta, bro. But I'm saying, like, I just hope it doesn't... I hope this doesn't, like, permanently destroy the human race. Kills them before you even come out, bro. <laughs> like, they... And dude, I was talking to my one buddy, and I got motherfucked. So, constantly. you think this could be, like, some kind of culling of the herd? I don't know what the fuck and it is. And they'll go off into their bunkers. But, like, my one buddy, he he's boosted. He got all that stuff. He's finally coming around, dude. And Woody Harrelson's going on SNL. Like, dude... He, I, I'll get him. I'll get him um, on the moon. Dude, the truth doesn't have to defend itself. <laughs> Literally. You know, it, it, the lies win in a sprint. True. Dude, I mean, this this is the fucked up thing, though, because I'm watching all this money get sent to Ukraine. I'm watching this stuff come out now. And there was people kicked on uh, fucking platforms. Now you're, now you're hearing Reggie. Now you're hearing Normie's hit Barisma, and you're like, <laughs> dude, that, like, I, and I told. Your I told, eyes are like glowing. I told him in my group chat. I don't care how many fucking vaccines you got, dude. These doors are open. Yeah. I'm not, this isn't a place for hate. This is just a place for we have to stay far away from black people. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Scott, <laughs> Scott Adams said that. Scott Adams said that. Not me. Scott Adams said that. Very uh, funny. This doesn't end well. <laughs> Very funny. That was Scott Adams, not me. But yeah, they're like, they're. Not, I don't know what they're going to do because like they're still hitting people with strikes on YouTube and all this stuff. Like, you're a Nazi. Like, you did it. All that stuff they were all the front lawn signs that were saying like Trump's a Nazi, Trump supporters are Nazis, all that stuff you helped carry out, which will probably be a genocide, and you cheered about it, and you yelled at people that didn't do what you wanted them to do, and you claimed that they were hurting people. Yeah. That's pretty out. much how it I mean, you know, you're not a historian, but F in Nazis, dude. <laughs> you like you did what you hated. It's not a big deal. You can always join my club whenever you want. If you want to come over to my side, that's fine. But like, cause we were talking about that and all the stuff going on in Ukraine and dude, it's both sides. That's why I'm, that's why I'm unaffiliated are all like, yes, yeah, send money to Ukraine makes zero dude. Cash. You're talking about the politicians, politicians, yeah, yeah. both let's go. We need this money to Ukraine. All of those kids, all of those pl politicians, kids have fucking companies in the fucking Ukraine. I don't know. You ever get nervous like when shit hits the fan this hard? I have heart palpitations. And they all and like they all like so this is like they might be This looks like something at the beginning of a born movie. Yeah, they might be getting nervous. They might be like, up in the eagle's nest being like, you know, the enemy below is gonna figure this out soon. Definitely. Maybe it's time to turn them into cat and fodder again. War. And all the warbergs will fucking wake up again and get activated and go, Let's send some ships to Taiwan. Let's fucking yes. let's droney boy Iran. Like it, let's start World War Three before it's too late. That, that's, before they figure out, and then it's a great reset. Yep, I mean, dude, because dude, knows? for twenty twenty something years, they before, leveled Europe for twenty something years before World War One. They just started pushing out propaganda about the Hun and the German. Think about how confused that must have been. And it was just because the Germans were like on the come up. One of those Amish bit. They were just on the. They were on the heavy come up. Yeah. They were one gen. Think about how many gens of Amish have been since then. Yeah. That was the first gen of breakaway civilization. They got one of those fuckers yeah. on Rumspring. It's like, what the hell is this about? <laughs> yeah. All they had to do was not. Like, it. Amish are absolute poster boys for the only thing you have to do is not pay attention. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay attention, literally nothing bad is happening. Yeah, and, you know, they might, they might be the last straw. They might have to take them out. Dude, like. There's no they reason to fuck in, with them. They might live in. There might be a thing where it's like, all the all the Gil Bates types, and then their enemy is actually the Amish. Amish. I'll have a bowl cut by 2020, <laughs> 2030. 2030, suspenders bowl cut. I've returned, brothers. I've been on hey a guys. thirty year rum spring. Dude, like this, like 
if you fucking think about it, and I've these boys, they're my boys, dude. The fucking Amish, because <laughs> when fucking COVID, these guys make one roof rack for you, you're dude, ready to die for them. And they fucking fixed up a steak body for me, and they repainted. It was so sick. You guys are so sick. You guys have sick fucking <laughs> milk and raw butter, so cool, and whoopie pies. But fucking, <laughs> dude, have you ever had a whoopie <laughs> yeah, pie? Yeah, it was yeah. so good. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I've been to the corner. Yeah, so. When all this shit was going on, everyone's like, you're a loon, dude. You got to shut up. And well, I got, I mean, not loon. They were getting mad at me. Legitimately yeah. mad. Shut up. Wear a mask. Get a vaccine. Amish I'm getting, didn't, like, not invited to stuff. Amish didn't do any of that. Absolutely fine. Yet, there's still people who argue about it. There, nothing happened to the Amish people, yet some people who graduated college will still come at you and call you a retard. And that you, I got yelled at. I, did I tell you about when I was out of Buffalo Billiards? No. Woman yelled at me? No. She said she's a pharmaceutical sales rep or something in that line, and she sent out the test for COVID. And, well, I mean, she probably can't sleep at night, dude. Well, no, dude. She started motherfucking me because I was like, I mean, those tests are bullshit. Like, Where did you graduate college? Didn't. She's like, well, mm. where do you learn that? I was like, the world. Literally, those tests are fucking fake as shit. PCR test is bullshit. Motherfucking me. Like, I save lives, and it's because oh, of man, us. Imagine actually thinking that. It's cognitive dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously. It's, it is like. And we'll go for the simultaneous. This chick was motherfucking me, and I was like, yo, lady, I don't give a fuck. Like, it is what it is. You lied. Like, good good job. You still get your paycheck and everything, but, like, don't I don't sit really, here and tell. Don't piss on my head and tell me it's rain. I like these escapes because it's like, like that uh, ether thing I wanted you to watch. Like, I just like to zone the fuck out. Yeah. And I can entertain some of the looniest shit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's like Lord of the Rings to me. You turn it on, I'm like, man, I want to live in. I want That's you how to, it was back then. I want you to, yeah. <laughs> I want you to make this a show. Of, please, like, show me this. Like, show me. I can, yeah. <laughs> show me who you are. Like, I could entertain, like, tons of stuff. I couldn't imagine what it's like to be in the actual mainstream fucking story that they just ran on. I could suck a baby out of your pussy. It's just a couple cells. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know why I named yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy to think. I was get, dude, I was getting people that, motherfucked. People that went like hook, line, and sinker with this, I couldn't imagine like the comeback of like getting this children of men type vibe going on where you're like, wait a second, are we all going to be infertile? What did I do? She said, why didn't you get vaccinated? I said, I want to have kids. And she, oh. Dude, she was fuming. 33, powerful woman, hasn't found the right one yet. Just like calling me a fucking idiot. Like, I don't want to talk to you. And I'm laughing. This she's chick's doing, angry she, as fuck. She's doing the pre wall prance. Exactly, dude. She's <laughs> a fucking 304 <laughs> total. <laughs> like, dude, I like, I never got motherfucked so hard in my life. And I'm just laughing. I'm trying to help my fucking buddy get some, his, her friend get some. You're wingman. Just wingman. I'm yeah. at, I am cannon fodder. One, oh. but. But the thing is, like, once you hit me with, like, I'm not going to shut the fuck up. Like, I don't, like, pussy's not that cool. It's not worth me being like, oh, yeah, that's sick. Oh, you do. Like, at that point, I've clocked out. You're just I, not a simp. I hate your job. Yeah, you're not a simp. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, that's super cool. You got, probably get so much money. That's awesome. Do you get to go on vacations? Like, blood's on your hand, bitch. I'm not going to sit there and praise you for what you did. Congratulations. You've killed people. You've put COVID tests out there that lied to fucking everyone. All this shit is fucked up. And now people are fucking dying from cancer. Now, I wonder if you can actually get it from sex. Nah. Just a couple of cells. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, I, Ike was on. Ike's I saw that. I saw, a tweet. Right. <laughs> I saw a tweet the other day where this lady was like, to those of you who are unvaccinated, just know you've done nothing wrong. And all these people, because people are spreading that right now, that like it, it's like the I am legend thing where it jumps to other people no matter yeah, what. Yeah, so you don't have to have sex. You could literally shake someone's hand and get it. Like it doesn't even matter. So yeah, so So you You're might good. you so might as good. well go out fucking. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean, brother? So sweet. Yeah, it was just fucking I, I completely forgot to tell you that. It was just very bizarre to get bitched by this chick when like, dude, she was in the complete wrong. Like look all over the news. The masks don't work. Can't get canceled for that. You can't fucking take me off YouTube for that because that's the truth. The vaccine, 95% effective. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, show it's the montage. Not. Show the montage. It's literally not. And they told people that. And people are still going around like, oh, dude, this avian flu is going to be bad. Bro, germs are fake. Get the fuck out of there. 
There's people actually They've been saying, hitting like, me with bird flu since I was like a teenager. Oh, yeah. they hit me when I was in high school. They hit me with a bird flu, and yeah. I was just like, dude, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking bird flu. I think that's fun. when the Asians started doing the masks. Yeah. Yeah. And that that was you fucking put me on to that that like that they didn't always wear a mask. They got hit with a bird flu psyop and that was probably that was probably like them writing it down on paper and then this was the They're still rocking them. I went up to New York uh to play pool it's not a big deal, Rackless Night, but oh. they, <laughs> a lot of people are still wearing masks. Dude now you don't have, you don't have to do shit and you wouldn't be on camera. There's a ton of dudes out there who they now run construction sites, but they have a GoPro on their helmet. Yeah, yeah. And they just sit there, and it's the crack from the job site. If there was a live stream of you racking them, I mean, you just had the GoPro well, on dude, your head. Well, dude, You're not insane, on camera. It's I, your POV. I'm not going to – I'm still gonna not going to be able to get over the passable train, the, the traps. Why? I've never seen it. Like, dude, that was insane, watching a dude just hold down a trap. And I'm like, I guess this is Brooklyn stuff. I'm just chilling there. Like, I see them around here, but they're not – they're just dudes Took in dresses. The They're just dudes in dresses, bro. <laughs> I mean, take the blue pill. <laughs> She's a girl. Like, no, she isn't. Yeah, look at her. She's a girl. I literally got stumped on pronouns trying to give her pointers on fucking. Yeah, you. Or him you or short circuiting trying to figure out if it. I just I was dude. like all quiet. I was just absolutely holding that completely the wrong way. But I laughed. I was like, "Well, don't do that." What and do you mean? She's a girl. She dude. got she mad. Know. <laughs> no, but then she got mad like a dude. So then I, I was confused. Scary. Yeah. Imagine a chick that could take you. No, no, no. This this is like definitely not taking anybody, but has the attitude. Definitely had attitude. The like rage dude. in her. No, yeah, mega rage. Yeah. Yeah. It is, well, she's getting pussy or dick, whatever you want to call. It. I don't know. Oh, whatever you call it. It yeah. seems like a very confusing place to be, especially if you're like. It was confusing to me. I feel like it was kind of like a well, like a lot of a lot of people were partying real hard during the week. Yeah. You know, I don't think anyone has to work. No, I don't think you know. I don't think I don't think you have to if you're fucking chilling like that. It was crazy. But I feel bad for, like, like it's very impressionable for, like, kids. So, like, you were saying that was in, like, a somewhat fucking weird area. It wasn't that great. Like, the kids are walking around. They see, like, fucking trannies and this shit. This would be, like, down where we're doing the house. Yeah, that's bizarre. And but, that, like, more populated. Yeah. That, it, it really doesn't, I feel bad for the people who, like, have to, like, try to figure that out for themselves. I definitely felt bad. What do you mean? I just felt, I was, like. I Tough. felt bad. I was like, damn, that sucks. But it is crazy that, like... I like, I don't know what to call you, and I also live your life, do yeah, you. Do whatever you want. But at the same time, this is fucking nuts that you have to do this. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. It, like, it is crazy, though, to see, like, the reason there's none around here is because they're all living in group homes, and they have no fucking money. And then once you get money, it's like, you can just be a hot chick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Literally, That's I mean, what like, I was seeing. I was like, damn. And it's like, they have boyfriends. It's probably the last thing. It's like, if you're up there, have a know, fuckload yeah. of money, it's like, why would you want to be a dude? I'll report back next week, see if that was just a one a once-off. You could have a pretty good life as a dude or be a chick yeah. and rich and have nothing to do. It's like, maybe it's just like, I, my brain's fucked up. Maybe I'm not thinking straight. That's what I, I was sitting there being like, I, I was definitely the weirdest person. Like, I was the one with the weird one that you, wasn't You were the outlier. Yeah, I wasn't understanding what was going on, just waiting to play. Yeah, so that yeah, that is a <laughs> and it is like it was the same thing when we went to uh Dock Street Pizza at one time and like people were like looking at us. Oh, like, they hated freak us. Shows. Yeah, yeah. Just two cishet white men trying that to get That was before the dark times, right? Way before it was before yeah. COVID and all that stuff. Seems like fucking ages ago, dude. I know, yeah. And then like I to get to get my cleanse because I watched that Devil's Eyes documentary and that was. I fuck. told you to shut that off. Yeah. I but dude, you gotta know it. You can't sit there and be like, oh, well, they're, like, that they're trafficking, human trafficking humans, and people are like, oh, what, they're eating babies? You have to have the fucking bona fides. Like, well, actually, yes. Yeah, they really do do that stuff. Fucked they do up. buy kids. Kids are worth thousands and thousands of dollars. 80 Gs. Yeah. Like, if you want one. like, And that, that was my theory. With, There's a lot of paid adoptions, too. Yeah. That they're was, not all going through, like, social services. That's what they stuff. were saying. They were saying that. A chick would say, I I want to sell this kid. And then an Arab dude would come and be like, I'm the father. And then they would just take them. Be like, yeah, whatever. It's a way that's to what, make money. Yeah. With dad. Yeah, dude. That's, dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that. I was like, I am sad when I'm watching this. But I watched, I never, I've like, Robert Sefford, Operation High Jump. I've wa I watched the Russian 
documentary about Operation Hide Jump, it was fucking amazing. Okay. I had no idea Russia founded Antarctica. This might be the beginning of all their plights. <laughs> <laughs> like they might have figured out what the fuck was good there and got ruined. The former Tartarian Empire? Well, dude, the thing is, like, in... Antarctica, there is underground rivers that are 18 degrees Celsius. I haven't done the conversion yet. 18 degrees Celsius rivers that just tunnel shit out. And, like, I was, like, all of Admiral Byrd's firsthand accounts of them trying to go there and shut down the secret. Like, dude, the Third Reich said they had an impregnable fortress that was paradise in yeah. Antarctica. There's definitely something there. Because yeah. I was watching this documentary. The Germans in those Tic Tacs, bro. Well, dude. <laughs> like, they... They went hard as fuck. They went down there. I never saw U-boats. U-boats are sick. I'm not a fucking germophile, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> there's some sick shit. Their technology was pretty fucking cool. But while we I- We don't talk of old wars. Yeah. What, like, when I was watching this, I'm sitting there, like, I'm putting myself in their shoes. And imagine you're, like, seeing old maps from the 1500s that are better than the ones from fucking today. The Puris map? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go on. Like- Do you want to talk about Star Forts? Well, St. Dude, Petersburg? <laughs> dude, the thing is, like, imagine how much awe you would have if you rolled up on a 10-meter-high ice shelf, and then you're like, you got a few guys that to, like, figure this the fuck out, and then there's tunnels that go into it. And then you guys kind of just disappear, and allegedly, you bat, like, Admiral Byrd goes there to end the Nazi fucking hideout, and they get wrecked by flying spaceships. <laughs> First-hand account, Admiral Bird gets wrecked by shit that just disappears. Now, at the end of that documentary, it goes where I like, and it said that. Do you understand yeah. wormholes? Yeah, I'm, I'm familiar it's, with portals. The, the south is an entrance into this world, and the north pole is an exit out of this world. And remember you showed me all those videos of fucking little Tic Tacs that were flying in Antarctica, and people were like, oh, that's ice, icicles or whatever? bullshit that's what i was trying to show you dude they're like you debunked that i didn't debunk it you I read debunked the it in like a second i read the comments they were saying it's crystalline and like that's what happens when you don't want to believe but then i'm back on believing dude because they were saying like these japanese scientists got these like radio frequency things and there was just non-stop stuff coming in antarctica so they're saying that like there's a good chance pew, 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 like pew. you're not allowed there and that's fucked up like, there should be carte blanche to the earth. Like, Google Earth is a psyop, dude. There's no way Google Earth is fucking telling the truth with any of that shit. At any point in time, like, it's it's so... You could fake that so easily. If you have a fucking big base somewhere in the desert, photo edit sand. Like, that whole thing, like, you got the world fucked up, Holmes. <laughs> like, there's no way that shit's fucking telling the truth. And you can't go to Antarctica. But you're telling me there's 15 degrees Celsius tunnels in there. Do you know how good that felt? If you're sitting in there, like, there, there might be sick shit there. There could be a complete dome that is fucking, you can't get a nuke, you can't, nothing can fucking happen to you. And you're in paradise, dude. It might exist. From a former civilization. Or from a civilization that just never fucked with us. It might just be the next place. Maybe. If, if you believe we live on a sphere... More power to you. The fact that water stays on it, I guess physics. Thanks, Eric Weinstein. We got people <laughs> like Eric Weinstein telling us that the fucking Earth's round. It is water. hard. It is hard to believe to sit there and be like, it's hard to believe anything it's after listening to that motherfucker. It's hard to be like, okay, so you guys just kind of make up science for yourselves. You make you up really repeatable equations. You don't really have to prove anything to anybody. No. You know, this could all just be an illusion. And it's nonstop funding. It's like, oh, yeah, here's another prize. Congratulations. <laughs> and they're just taking old tech from the former civilization that is hiding out in Antarctica, flying around in fucking Tic Tacs. I mean, when Hitler went into Austria, he got that fucking dagger, dude. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you man. had to get the dagger and you had to get the, cu the cup of Hermes, dude. And he couldn't find it. <laughs> not saying that he was a good guy, dude. I'm not Kanye West over here. But I'm just saying, like, they were onto something. And some, I would like someone to explore. Greet it as a liberator. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, the way I look at it, and I told my buddies, because like my buddies were completely normies, like believed all the shit in the news. They just lied to you about that. Dude, why don't you pump the brakes on space? <laughs> like They just lied to us about a vaccine they gave us. Maybe they're lying about all that other stuff. Billions of dollars have went to NASA, and we've got fuck all. 
you have CGI pictures of fucking deep space. Seems to me like a lot of these, like, uh, you know, there's like a bottleneck of talent that just kind of ends up in these different, like, science, Wall Street, all this stuff. They, Most of the people in Antarctica work for the NSA. So they just start Think getting all this funding for this shit that you find out is just scheming. It's fucking like, gender most, studies in Iran. Most of it is just schemes. Like, oh, yeah, here's another prize. Here's a Nobel Prize. It's like, the, for, for an idea. Cool. That's what. You know? And then you're like, oh, but that's why we have cell phones. Like, is it? Yeah, who knows, dude? Like, I, like I, fucking, is it though? Because I hear some of you guys talk, and I'm like, no chance. You know how like there's like allegedly there's some still secret droids. Yeah, like, yeah. There's a documentary, like, the last of the droids. Uh -huh, like, yeah. I always usually when I'm alone on the road, start thinking like there has to be one guy on the planet that knows what the fuck's going on. It's tough, man. There's nobody that knows everything anymore. There just has to, um, but I'm saying you there know. might just be one dude who. But there might knows like the all truth. the stuff that we're filling our brains with is probably nonsense, and there's like just you probably only need to know a certain amount of things that maybe like. Yeah. There's different like here's the plane that we live on. Here's the different firmaments. Then all the energy comes down, and From you just need to know how to harness it. I mean, dude, the chosen people figure it out. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, just get them, like get them off the air. There's no reason, like, there's no reason to lie that hard about fucking math, dude. Math was made by bullshitters. Numbers are fake as fuck. Like, dude, imagine if you didn't know how old you were, and people were just like, no well, one. Well, dude, knew they're how old finding out that the, the same scientists are that are telling you how long a year is and how old you are, finding out that age is is just a number. Yes. That you have like a you have a name you have an age of well, how many times well, you went well, around the sun. Yeah, just. You well, know, then they're like, yo, what they what are they trying to do? What do you mean? Technically, age isn't real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's they what they're... They're trying to yeah. make, make their like funny Alan feelings or whatever. Right. Yeah, a lot of those guys have been pushing that. But they do say, like, you could be 40, but you could have, like, a 33-year-old body. Yeah. You know? It, I mean, dude... They, they keep doing that with science. I mean, they just keep coming out with shit constantly. I mean, imagine... You might not need to know any of this stuff. Absolutely not. You could probably, like, just chill in the fields Amish. with some cows... Yes. And every time this stuff comes along, you just know. You're like, oh, yeah, that ain't it. I spent 30 years doing the wrong thing. Not the end of the world. I, I maybe have 30 more years of doing something else. Just do a great reevaluation and then a great reset. Yeah. like, But this shit, you might want to start learning how to fucking make butter from raw milk and eating the good steaks. They just had a fucking big sale up in Amish on steaks and stuff. I wasn't there. I couldn't participate in it. But, you know, something to think about. They're fucking filling all of our stuff with really fucked up stuff poisonous yeah. shit i know the cows that we get for ground beef are makes from none. australia makes fucking none. and they have the mrna it makes no sense that we have cows from australia with all the fucking crying about the co2 that goes on you can't just make more cows in the midwest <laughs> like, well it, they're trying to make uh what do you call it the lab, the, the lab the lab beef that's what it's gonna be but dude that takes a lab I'm a hey cow man. takes a pasture. This is what I don't understand. I'm, Bill Gates is saying, oh, sorry, fuck. Dude, I'm telling you, if they had their druthers, they would be living wherever they live. Yep. They would have their labs. Shtetl. They'd be in a shtetl. Their labs would be making us food. Yeah. And we would be living like those El Salvadorian prisoners until we're dead. But like, and dude, if there was some way to harness the energy from us, from us they would yeah. be doing that. But, dude, the thing it's is. It's the like, fucking Matrix, bro. I, I really like. Um, I guess I'm dumb. Yeah, you're retarded. How the fuck does it make sense to make a facility to make fucking meat or have fucking cows roam a pasture? It's almost like we already did this and made cows. Yes. <laughs> like, why would you need a humongous facility with employees, with data, with all these wires, with all this fucking shit. And this is like when or you, when, a pasture. It's like when you figure out that you're part, you're what the AI created. Yeah, like if you go to any like any of those Glaxo Smith clients, any of these crazy fucking places, think about all the fossil fuels that are burned to make that place. Or a big ass pasture with cows that sometimes fart, even though methane is actually good for the ozone layer. That's what they don't want you to know. Methane is very good for the ozone layer. That's a complete lie with that cow fart. It shit. is pretty crazy that they're afraid of Antarctica melting. It might. I mean, dude, it's never going to melt. That's so bullshit. There's snow in Saudi Arabia right now. 
for the first time. Not like, dude, imagine that. Like, that's what I'm saying. This is the shit where it's like, oh, I have a, I have a equation that'll get us off the earth, and at the same time, Antarctica is gonna melt. Yeah, so, and well, tomorrow's not, the Holocaust. Well, not in your <laughs> lifetime, dude. Probably yeah. not in any of one's lifetime on this earth now, or probably in a hundred thousand years, dude. If they can't figure it out by then. Tough, dude. We'll fucking <laughs> drown. In a hundred thousand years, if you can't figure out how to fucking get the fuck out of here, we were meant to die. There's no reason for us. Life's meaningless. But I think we'll figure it out by the time they actually melt. They're literally just coining it off fucking CO2 emissions. It's pissing me the fuck off. And lying and calling us fucking stupid, which I don't like. <laughs> it's fucking annoying. I don't think I have anything else, though. I will I will look into Pmex though because there's probably some shit going on there. Pmex and the Cena, name it's just the name. Have you ever dri- have you ever driven through Mexico? Like there's fucking huge. No, never plants. never been in Mexico. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Honestly, like thinking about going there. Yeah, they travel man. Nah, not right now. I got I got some fish to fry. Got a demo job coming up next Monday. Back to my roots. <laughs> Put on the old bootstrap, just like you know us blue collar guys. Right, fellas? Everyone that's all this blue collar guys. These fucking soft hands won't figure out what we're talking about. You know what I mean? Just getting up and going to work every fucking day. <laughs> like us blue collar guys do. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, like. You're doing your bits, man. Just hard work. You're doing your bits. Just hard <laughs> it's like next level. Yeah, man. 